Hello and welcome to Think Consulting. In today's video, we'll be analyzing Sora, an AI tool that emerged from the team at OpenAI with some serious, bold video aspirations. Imagine that you could create a stunning video from a simple text prompt, such as a man walking on the moon with a dog. Sounds impossible, right? Well, not anymore. Thanks to Sora, the latest AI model from OpenAI that can generate mind-blowing videos from text, it's possible. So for those who may not have heard the news that came out a few days ago, Sora is a generative AI model that can generate videos for now, for now, up to a minute long, featuring highly detailed scenes, complex camera motion, and multiple characters with vibrant emotions. It can also create videos based on still images or extend existing footage with new material that it can be asked to create via a prompt. In this video, we're going to find all about this new technology that Sora is promising. We'll also look at how it operates, why it matters, and its uses and its use cases in general. We'll also discuss the challenges and limitations that we see it faces. Plus, we'll show you how you can learn more and see this amazing tool in action. But before we get into the details, if you have not done so already, please click the like button below. And also don't forget to squeeze the subscribe button. It'll take you two seconds to do that, but it helps us with the YouTube algorithm and also ensures that you don't miss out on any of our content going forward. Welcome back to Think Consulting. Today, we will talk about three major topics. Number one, what is Sora and how exactly does it work? Number two, Sora's real world applications and its possibilities. And number three, challenges, alternatives, and more importantly, the future of generative video AI. OpenAI's Sora works basically by taking a short descriptive prompt from the user, such as a stylish woman walking down a street in Tokyo filled with warm, glowing neon and animated city signage. Once it's given the prompt, it then interprets the prompt and simulates the physical world in motion using a large library of videos that it has learned from. Sora can also understand the user's preferences on the style and mood of the video, such as if you wanted to shoot cinematic style shot on a 35 millimeter film with vivid colors. It can also adjust the lighting, color and camera angles accordingly based on the prompts it's given. Sora can produce videos with resolutions up to 1920 by 1080 and 1080 by 1920. It can also handle different genres and themes such as fantasy, sci-fi, horror, comedy, and a whole lot more. So what is Sora and how does it work? Sora is an advanced AI model with the capability to produce videos based on written prompts by employing a process which is referred to as text to video synthesis. This state of the art technique transforms written natural language into corresponding visual content, enabling the creation of images or videos that closely align with the described scenarios. By interpreting and visualizing the text, Sora makes it possible to bring storytelling and explanations or any other written content to life through engaging and dynamic video formats. The AI's intuitive understanding of language allows it to accurately depict a wide range of concepts and ideas, making it a versatile tool for content creators, educators, and marketers seeking to communicate through more visually compelling means. Sora employs text-to-video synthesis, which presents a significant opportunity in the field of artificial intelligence. It demands that the AI system comprehends the text meaning and context thoroughly. Understanding the text is just the beginning. 
As a result, the AI must also translate this meaning into visual elements that accurately represent the narrative. This involves recognizing and generating appropriate visuals, including characters, settings, and actions that match the text. And while it does all of that, the AI must also consider the physical aspects of the video. This includes understanding how objects interact within a given space, obeying the laws of physics to ensure realism, and incorporating natural movement and transitions. The quality of this synthesis hinges on the AI's ability to seamlessly combine all of these elements and creating a video that is not only coherent, but also engaging and true to the initial textual description given in the prompt. For example, the model needs to know what objects and characters are in the scene, how they look, how they move, how they interact, and how they are affected by the environment. Sora is based on a deep neural network, which is a type of machine learning model that can learn from data and perform complex tasks. Sora uses a large data set of videos that it has learned from, covering various topics, styles, and genres. Sora starts by meticulously going over the given text prompt, pinpointing essential components such as the main subject, actions involved, specific locations, timeframes, and the overall emotional atmosphere implied by the words in the prompt. After distilling these critical aspects, Sora's technology delves into its extensive database, hunting for video clips that closely correspond to each of these identified keywords. Once Sora has gathered an array of videos that are a good match for the prompt's criteria, it carefully assesses how each piece individually can be woven together seamlessly. The final step involves creatively blending these selected video segments, ensuring that they not only align with the original keywords, but also complement and work with each other. The result of this process is a cohesive and newly crafted video that is reflective of the text prompt's intent and nuances. Sora also uses a technique called style transfer, which allows it to modify the appearance and feel of the video according to the user's request and preferences. For example, if the user wants a video with a cinematic style shot on a 35 millimeter film with vivid colors, Sora can go ahead and apply these effects to the video, changing the resulting lighting, color, and camera angles. Like we discussed earlier, Sora can generate videos with resolutions of 1920 by 1080 and up to 1080 by 1920. It can also create videos based on a still image or extend existing footage with new material. For example, if the user provides a still image of a forest, Sora can animate the image and add elements such as animals, birds, or people. If the user provides a video of a car driving on a road, Sora can extend that video and add elements such as traffic, buildings, or some kind of a scenery. So the natural question that comes to mind is, why is this technology so important? And what are its applications and use cases? You may want to ask, what is all of this excitement about? Sora marks a notable leap in the realm of artificial intelligence and the production of videos, showcasing an impressive command of linguistic nuances, insightful visual understanding, and a robust comprehension of the laws of motion. This advancement indicates a sophisticated integration of complex cognitive functions that mirror human perception, allowing for the creation of highly realistic and dynamic video content. It also showcases the potential of artificial intelligence to create engaging and immersive content for various purposes, such as entertainment, education, art, and communication. Let's talk about some of the real-world possible applications and use cases for Sora. Sora can help in creating movie trailers, short films, animations, and documentaries from text scripts. Sora can help filmmakers and storytellers to visualize their ideas and concepts. To visualize their ideas and concepts and create compelling and original videos. Sora can also help viewers to discover new and interesting content based on their preferences and interests. 
Sora can also help in enhancing existing videos with new elements such as adding special effects, changing the background or inserting new characters into the existing videos. Sora can help video editors and producers to improve and modify their videos and add more variety and creativity. Sora can also help viewers to enjoy more personalized and interactive videos based on their feedback and input, thereby improving the end quality. Sora can also help in generating educational videos from text summaries, such as explaining scientific concepts, historical events, or cultural phenomena. It can help educators and learners to create and access informative and engaging videos that can enhance their understanding and retention. Sora serves as a valuable resource for viewers looking to broaden their knowledge and dive deeper into diverse subjects. Guided by their natural curiosity and inquiries, users can uncover extensive information and gain insights across a wide range of topics. With Sora, discovery is at your fingertips, encouraging a personalized learning experience that is as limitless as the questions that you can ask of it. The only concern I have is if the AI starts hallucinating like we see in the other models, then there is really no end to the discovery that you can have. Sora can also help in creating personalized videos for social media, such as birthday events, greetings, travel diaries, or matter of fact, memes. Sora can help social media users and influencers to create and share unique and fun videos that can express their personality and emotions. Sora can also help viewers to connect and interact with their friends and followers based on their likes and comments. Another interesting angle that Sora can help is in visualizing ideas, scenarios, and dreams from written text descriptions, such as designing a product, imagining a future, or exploring a fantasy world. Sora can help designers and innovators to create and test their prototypes and visions and get feedback and suggestions based on that. It can also help viewers to experience and enjoy different realities, although virtually, and possibilities based on their imagination and creativity. So, enough of the good qualities and the marketing hype so far. Let's talk a little bit about what the challenges are and what limitations does this kind of technology face. Sora, as you can imagine, is not perfect and it still faces some significant challenges and limitations. Notably, some of those challenges that come right off to my mind are that it is not a publicly available platform for now and it is only accessible as of today to a small group of researchers and creative professionals and it's mostly based on feedback and testing. OpenAI has not announced when or how it will release Sora to the general public or what the pricing and the licensing model is being envisioned. It's subject to OpenAI's terms of service, which prohibit the use of the model for creating content that involves extreme violence, sexual content, hateful imagery, celebrity likeness, or the IP, which is like the intellectual property protection of others. OpenAI has also said that it will monitor the usage of Sora and it reserves the right to revoke access or modify the output if it detects any violations or abuse. Like I mentioned earlier in this video, Sora may generate inaccurate, inappropriate, or matter of fact, harmful content, such as hallucinating and misrepresenting facts, violating privacy provisions, or promoting bias. Sora may also generate content that is indistinguishable from reality, which could pose ethical and social risks. Risks such as spreading misinformation, manipulating people's emotions, or eroding trust by fake news. Sora may not be able to handle complex or ambiguous prompts, such as those that involve multiple sentences. If you ask it for logical reasoning or maybe an abstract concept, it may fail to generate coherent or consistent videos, such as those that require temporal continuity causal relationships or narrative structures. All of these are not possible by Sora at this point. One important thing 
that is of concern in terms of legal, ethical or copyright concerns is that OpenAI did not disclose so far what or how much footage was used to train Sora or where the training videos may have originated from, other than saying that the model contained videos that were both publicly available and licensed from copyright owners. I have discussed this a ton before in my other videos. The company has been sued multiple times for alleged copyright infringement in the training of its generative AI tools, which people claim essentially digest gargantuan amounts of material scraped from the internet and imitate the images or text contained in those datasets. For more information, I want you to see the Nightshade video that I have on the channel and I'll post the link to that up here. Mostly, the criticism that all of these LLMs and specifically OpenAI face are centered around fair usage, copyright infringement, and ad revenue diversion. In addition, there are multiple lawsuits in courts today, different jurisdiction from multiple nonfiction authors and reputable organizations such as the New York Times and other publications for violating the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. And they are accused of profiting from the hard work of the journalists, as we know whose jobs are under a lot of stress, matter of fact, are under siege. The actions in court allege that ChatGPT and OpenAI of reproducing news content verbatim or nearly verbatim while stripping out important attributions like the author's name and other credits that should be due. One other topic that is of note here is that currently we can only see the hand-picked videos from OpenAI. When the public is given full access, I'm sure more flawed videos will emerge, displaying the model strength and its weaknesses. So for those who like these kind of technological innovations and like to be at the learning of these innovations, the natural question will be, how do you learn more about Sora and how do you see it in action? In the time between DAL-E version 2 and Sora, AI image generation has gone from a party trick to a massive industry. Many of the things DAL-E couldn't do, DAL-E 3 could do. And if DAL-E 3 couldn't, a competitor would almost always come in and fill that gap. That's a perspective that's crucial to keep in mind when you read prognosticating on Sora. You're likely looking at early steps into a new major capability, one that could be used for good or for malicious purposes. And while it's possible to oversell it, I feel it's also very easy to sell it short. In reality, instead of overcommitting on any particular perspective on what Sora and its successors will or won't be able to do, it's worth admitting some uncertainty about where all of this headed to. It's much easier to say this technology will keep improving by leaps and bounds than to guess the specifics of how it will actually play out, what issues it will bring up, and what the legal implications could be in the future. For those who have followed along in this video so far, it tells me that you are interested to learn more. So the question you'd be asking is, how can I access Sora? This may come as bad news to some, as Sora is currently only available to red team researchers. What does that mean? It means, in other words, red team researchers are experts who are given the task of testing the model and who are given the task of trying to identify problems with the input or the output. For example, they will try to generate content with some of the risks identified in our previous section so OpenAI can mitigate the problems before releasing it to general audiences. OpenAI has not yet specified a public release date for this technology, although it is likely to be sometime in 2024. If you're interested in learning more about Sora and seeing it in action, you can check out the following resources that I will leave in the description or will be on the screen. There is OpenAI's blog post that introduces Sora and it also shows some examples of its output. You can also browse Sora's website where you can sign up for early access and see more videos created by Sora. For those who are working in the technology industry, you know perhaps one tool or one solution generally does not check all the boxes, neither is it a perfect solution. 
So let's talk about what the available alternatives or the competitors to Sora are. This may come as a surprise to some, but in this exciting race, there are several high profile alternatives to Sora that allow users to create video content from text. These include tools such as Runaway Generation 2, the highest profile alternative to OpenAI's Sora strategy. This is a text to video generative AI tool and it is currently available both on the web and on mobile. The other technology of note is Google's Lumiere. Google recently announced Lumiere, which is currently available as an extension to the PyTorch Deep Learning Python framework. The other tool that comes to mind as a competitor is called Make a Video. And guess who is this from? Meta announced Make a Video back in 2022. Again, this is available via a PyTorch extension. Folks, this was a list of the major players and deep pocketed people in the industry. There are also some other several smaller competitors vying for the same space. Notably, Pictory is another tool that simplifies the conversion of text into video content, targeting content marketers and educators with its video generation tools. The other tool of note is Capwing, offering an online platform for creating videos from text. It also emphasizes ease of use for social media marketers and for casual non-professional creators. The other tool to worth note is Synthesia. It focuses on creating AI-powered video presentations from text and offers customizable avatar-led videos for business and educational purposes. Another tool that I read in doing my research is called HeyGen, which aims to simplify video production for product and content marketing, sales outreach, and education. The, another tool that came in my research is called Steve AI. Steve AI provides an AI platform that enables generation of videos and animation from prompt to video, script to video, and audio to video. There's another tool called Eli, E L A I, which focuses on e learning and corporate training, offering a solution to effortlessly turn instructional content into informative videos. Well, there you have it, folks all the information that you need to know about generative video AI. Sorry, this video became a little bit long, but I hope it has provided some value to you and that you learned something new from this. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to share and subscribe. This helps us with our engagement. Also, don't forget to check out my other videos on the channel. Your support fuels our commitment bringing you the most compelling and cutting-edge stories from the intersection of technology and humanity.